more. For those of you new to the What The Flip podcast, we dive into hilariously interesting and explicit conversations around anime, games, comic, movies, mysteries, and all the sexiness of geek culture. And with that said, get ready, because I'm Alex. And I will. And you're listening to What The Flip. Let's go. Hey man, what's going on today? What's going on? Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, one second, I've got a burp. <laughs> <laughs> you just, your head just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm an Alex. <laughs> and I'm good. And... <laughs> Bloody hell. You got, you got a topic. You, you said you got a topic oh. today, Will, so I'm, yeah. I'm interested. I'm always interested in your topics because... Uh... <laughs> For, for for once, I get to sit back and enjoy, yeah. actually have fun in the bot in the, in <laughs> and not the do bot. all the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is this is a stupid one. I've just been I don't know why, but all of this in my YouTube feed and my TikTok feed has been sort of bombarded with this random similar to your Alex on Twitch, uh, Alex on uh, um, Twitter, whatever, Twitter YouTube thing. It's just check, check out our YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick like, uh, what the flip podcast? I uh, know, just what the flip on YouTube. Um, check it out. There's a lot of videos and content that's not from our podcast. It's from other stuff as well. So make sure you check it out. It's growing really quickly and it's great. Um, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I just had to do a plug. Yeah. Well, so if you look, if you watch his Alex on Twitter, is he just basically goes? You basically just go through your Twitter feed and just talk about what's in it, and. If you get just around my ra- my racist yeah. my racist commentary, <laughs> yeah. you just get totally totally random shit. And I thought, oh, okay, then well, let's look what what's on my like kind of recommendations. And I got some yeah. random random stuff. And I just want to talk about one of them rather than now actually. Uh, and it's not okay. It's a it's a weird conspiracy theory. It's not really got a title to it as such. It was just my feed was just bombarded with stuff similar to this. So right, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna call this <laughs> sperm apocalypse, but I don't, wow. I, don't, I don't really know what it is about. Wow. Well, what what theory conspiracy theory? But I think it's like a slowly growing theory that I think might come to like it will be developed later on. Um, okay. So what is sperm apocalypse? <laughs> 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 This, this they, is... just, just a note, this is a first world uh, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> this is why we can talk about these things. <laughs> I'm, not talk- I'm not talking about the oceans getting polluted and how, how to stop the tigers killing people in our village. No, no, We're talking no. about the sperm population. <laughs> no, we're not trying to cure, like, um, Will's famine. Any diseases. <laughs> yeah. It's just, we're talking about sperm today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. All right, so, I'm uh, I'm ready for this. <laughs> so, like, I'll give you the gist of what sperm apocalypse is. This is a name I've created for it. I don't know what it. I don't know if there's an official name for it, but I've just called it. This. Well, that's a title. That's a title of this uh, this episode. <laughs> of this episode, sperm apocalypse. So the, the, the conspir- it's a weird conspiracy theory. It, it goes into weird, weird um, directions. But basically, what no it shit. is, <laughs> it's um. The theory is it's a, a government plot to weaken male alpha behavior. So, you know, like the whole, I mean, it's it's just sort of stuff in your feed at the moment as well about kind of Andrew Tate stuff and sort of demasculating oh, okay. men and stuff like that. And this is like a government conspiracy into how they, how they action this process. Um, so okay. this... Is um to <laughs> try and so, so basically it's 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 anti masculinity. Yeah, yeah, anti masculinity, but yeah. like it there's one way just sort of kind of empowering women, but like also how do you enforce this and how do you actually make it a thing? And the reason they want to make it a thing is it's to kind of you know how in fan uh the Thanos movie where they were like, Oh, we need to control population because there's there's too much, too many people. Yeah. Stuff like yeah. That. Well, it's kind of based on that theory that there's too many, the population is getting too out of control. We're living too long. So therefore we need to um, essentially shrink males' dicks. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the natural. <laughs> this, this is so, this... <laughs> so, I've got a lot to say on this. Um, 
But so, so far, this is wild. <laughs> the, the, so they did a study, and in uh, since the 1970s, male sperm count has been dropping by 1% every year. So it yes, kind of, this thing started yeah. like a long time. Uh, when I say that, I mean like they, they, they've just kind of got people to shoot their load into them. <laughs> They're going around people's doors like, can I just have a little bit? Just, can I have a test? It's one of the tests. It's, 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 it's a survey. So it's just a survey. Like, Cheers, mate. Thanks. All right. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you've heard about all of this stuff, like, you know, the Asian yeah. population and just like the decline of childbirth and stuff like that. So this, that yeah. is basically... Especially, especially in Japan and, and, and Korea. Yeah, Japan, Korea, China, and it's, it's a massive thing that they're trying to address, but this is... That's basically what sperm apocalypse um, is. And so you kind of go... Well, the, okay. Okay, what should you think? I've, 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 just got, I've just got loads... I mean, you've kind of talked about three things. One one is the um, kind of demasculating men um, in culture. Um, there, there's a lot I can say on that. There's a lot I can say on the kind of the population growth or lack of growth um, that's happening. And then... Um, kind of the sperm count sort of issue, and I do think these are three completely separate issues. Um, and I'm just, I guess, which one do you want me to give my thoughts on first? Because I've got loads to say on all of these. Um, let's um, go, let's go with the sperm count thing because for me, that's like the most evidential one. Okay. It's got like the most factual. Well, from yeah, why, what I've done the research, it it seems like okay, this was the most logical thing. Like it's it's got credence to it. Yeah, so I think. Um, I, I, I don't know the science and the data um, at the back of my hand, but I do know that test, not testosterone, but um, sperm counts are have have been dropping statistically like one percent each year, um, which is alarming um, uh, for, for for a long time. Um, and I do I personally have the belief it's nothing to do with like government trying to control you and stuff like that, but I, I think it's more to do with um the, the food and the chemicals in the environments and well, stuff like that that's that we one of the things like they were saying like it's a left to lifestyle thing like they're putting stuff into 100%. and um processed foods which that's mm. why it's like so 100 percent get the yeah. processed food because it's like the government made thing the government have gone like oh we'll make this processed food easier for access for like kind of lower income lower income households because they're the ones that are usually having a higher yeah. birth rate and if you look at all the other illnesses, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, you look at all of these things, cholesterol and, and blood pressure um, issues within the health industry, like they're all coming from the foods that we eat. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's an indication there that one, we eat, we're eating too much and two, we're eating too much shit. Um, and some, and I know this is unpopular opinion, but it's our fault that this is happening. Yes, the government are pushing processed foods everywhere you can see but there's nothing stopping you from going to a local butchers or going to um to get fresh fresh either organic produce or get something that's you know ha doesn't have sugar galore in it all of these things um affect testosterone levels in the body and testosterone levels will naturally over time they're going to start affecting your sperm count and things like that and so um i think over the the course of a decade two decades um, our, our diets have just been worse. The, the foods have been getting worse and worse and worse, and um, it's very difficult to to you know stay eating healthy. Um, but you can do it. Um, so I think I think it's to do with the big. I think it's to do with uh, the food industry and it, stuff like that. That that's kind of my thoughts on on the sperm count thing. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, it can be done. Like, yeah, you can eat healthy food, but the point is that like they have been doing it to make the government can change this process they can make they can make organic food cheaper they can make like they can put regulations they on could do they could do but they won't yeah and that's, they, they that's, could do but they won't and that's the conspiracy theory that they want to... no no they, they won't because it's just about money they they don't care about health they in fact if you're sick and you're ill then the government get more money because you have to rely on the healthcare oh, system, you have to rely on big pharma, you have to rely on all of these things. You subscribe into this um, system, kind of like PlayStation Plus, where you have to, you're forced to subscribe. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, <laughs> no, seriously, you're forced to subscribe to, like, you know, I'm diabetic, right? 
so i am forced to subscribe to getting my medication doing all of this stuff and someone is profiting from that and yeah, so, so the more people that are sick and ill the more money that big pharma makes the more money and power that they have over the people um so yeah. it's, it's actually in, in in some ways it's in the government's best interest to make us sick and dependent on them i'll put it this way will put it this way with the sperm count thing you know me i've been a very healthy eater i've been I i've been, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, been I've been ostracized and harassed because of my healthy eating um by will by mark by I'm, I'm many <laughs> Okay, oh, maybe not you will, but Mark is definitely like. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Come on, now, let's live a little, live a little, and all of this stuff. Like, I, I get it all the time, and all I can say is, when I went to have, when I decided, when me and my wife decided to have children, um, I, she was, <laughs> both children were conceived. There were plan conceptions. Are you going to make an experiment time... and give one of them size to the other one? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she, the experiment. <laughs> No, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is both times that we planned, she conceived the day that we tried. So, and, oh, and shit, that's man. both that's times. Always. You took all, you took all so the that, fun so that. Well, no, I mean that's the 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 the, ish, the point here is is that if you do eat healthy and you keep yourself healthy, then your sperm count, you don't have any issues with your sperm count. Yeah, but I think most people don't. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's my is, thoughts on the government yeah. isn't making it easy. What I'm saying is, a low income comp, a low income household can't afford those things. Like if you've got, a, let's say you've got already got two kids and uh, a family, how yeah. are you supposed to? Like yeah, let's say because the process is is happening since a long time. You know, 1970s. So let's say your your household now. Let's say you can't. You've got two kids now. You can't afford. You 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 hit some hard times in a touch where it doesn't happen. You hit hard times. You can't afford like fresh produce. You can't afford fresh meats and stuff like that. But you know, like yeah. McDonald's will feed like a, a family bucket for ten pounds will feed your whole family as opposed to that feeding. Yeah. Just you. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to give your kid the help? Like, are you going to go into more debt? So you can, so your kid can have that one, a one healthy meal, or you're gonna go, or you're gonna give them the cheap stuff, which exacerbate well, the I, situation. I, I, yeah, I think I think the majority of people will go with the cheaper food because they are. I think I think also a lot of people are uneducated with food. I would go with the one healthy meal um, rather than three unhealthy meals. But I mean, like I understand the need for parents to like do that. So, but I th I do think that is a. Um, I do think that is an exception of the rule. I think most people that are eating shit are eating it because of luxury. Um, I think yeah, I think if everyone I think I think if everyone in the West had fifty percent of their food intake just removed, I think there would be a healthier society. And so I'm I'm not very sympathetic towards people saying, "Oh, I can't afford meals." I'm like, okay, if you can have like two small meals a day, I think that's fine. Um, I, I think it, it sounds absurd to have, oh, just two small meals, but well, we just eat ourselves into death and disease. Um, but that's just my thoughts, and I know I'm the exception for it, but I, I, I generally, I truly believe that. Um, so I mean, you, me and you fast, Will, don't we? We fast and oh, we yeah, see yeah. the benefits of doing that. Imagine if we did that regularly, you know, well, intermittent fasting or water fasting. Like, we would be really yeah. healthy and we would feel the research, human Humans aren't designed to eat this much amount, this amount of not That's three true. meals, not three, yeah. four, five meals a day, every day. Like, it's this absurd. Like, you, you're um, healthy, but you yeah. you probably still eat more than you need to eat, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? like of course. It's, yeah. It's, it's quite easy. And so, you, see, you see how big I am. I'm, like, I'm a fucking tank, and I don't eat <laughs> nowhere near the amount of, like, calories, let's say, Mark or Louis probably have every mm. day. So and it goes to show is, like, you don't need all of that food. Yeah, it's just the world has been. Like, and that's... What I'm saying, the world has developed to to do that, to kind of live in that luxury, which is in turn reducing this whole population, this this concentrated yeah. area of population being reduced. And there's more things that add to this. Um, and, we, and some of them are cockamamie, and some of them are absolutely uh, crazy. But obviously, this and this will probably be going like you. I don't know if you've heard of the term soya soya boy. 
Yeah, yeah, of course I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the and the, and that's... Like Louis, Louis, Louis is a soy yeah. boy. Soy yeah, Louis is a soy boy, and I yeah. don't know what you. Kn- I don't know if you know what that means, but because I yeah, you're I... basically you're you're you're. you're I think it, you're basically a simp, right? You're just like a, kind like of. a yeah, yeah. You promote you, 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 you are, yeah. You, 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 you promote women's power to the detriment of your own, mm-hmm. and it's essentially a, it's a twofold thing. The reason why people are called soy boys is to do with what we just talked about before. The, the, in processed food, testosterone and has yeah. a lot of the, the the conspiracy is that in processed foods that happens to be. There happens to be a lot of soya in processed foods, which then they did the research and soya actually lowers testosterone. So it's just like a correlation yeah. between bad foods and soya, which soya is good for you in moderation. That's why Louis impotent. <laughs> he just eats soya. Soya alternatives. <laughs> soya flavoured milkshakes every day. Every day. <laughs> just Correct on the bed of soya. <laughs> yeah. and so that's where the the so, the term soy boy comes from is that yeah people are eating but it is also part of and that terminology comes from the demasculation of men in terms of like the uprising of femininity and uh, what well, feminists rights and stuff like that so that's another point of like we're advocating female empowerment more than we're advocating um male alphaness or male testosterone or whatever yeah i mean the the other two points that you made about the population and the kind of the demasculating of of um of men in in the western world like they 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 are kind of linked so let me just quickly um kind of connect them and and tell you how they're linked from my perspective so in terms of population control um what you notice in the world, um, I think there was a consensus done in, I think it was last year, it might have been 2021 or something, but you can see all of the developing countries in the world, Japan, Korea, China, America, uh, parts of Europe, a lot, a lot of the parts of Europe, all the kind of the developing um, countries that are not, not developing, but the developed countries, the very the highly developed countries, um, all of their population, um, there, are, there are less people wanting to have children. Um, and so that's that's actually declining the population of those. And if you look in places like South America and Africa and uh, more of the, the the developing countries, the poorer countries, they um, their populations seem to be uh, growing or sustaining. Um, and the reason why there's two reasons why this is happening. The first reason is that in the Western culture, with like first world problems, women are they're not we we don't adhere to the traditional gender roles so women aren't staying at home doing the cooking looking after children men going to work all of that nuclear family stuff is kind of like gone now it's, it's, it's kind of being pushed away um through um this new age feminism that's kind of spreading throughout the western world and what that's doing is letting women um Run go out lock. to work uh, make women feel like oh my, my my idols are like cardi b and all of this stuff where they're like oh we're independent we don't need men we can just work we can pay our own way blah blah and what what's happening because of that is that men are finding it harder to actually get women and women are more picky um and so relationships aren't working um there are there are less men um there well there are le- less women and men having children <laughs> for, for starters so that's that's like a, a big issue um and secondly and, and this the reason why I'm really a, a, a against this kind of I, I do think that the gender roles are there since the beginning of time and I think a traditional family a traditional nuclear family is the best way and that's why you see a lot of families like in Asia uh, you see in India in the Middle East and stuff they, they have these traditional more traditional values in their culture and in America the most successful people aren't the white men it's actually the Asian people. They're the most successful in in their families and jobs and things like that because they have this traditional uh, set of roles that they play. And I think it goes towards the the natural inclination of what humans are. Like a uh, a woman by her nature is designed to have children. A woman by her nature isn't designed to go out to to do like work and construction and do all of this stuff and hunt. That's what's in a man's nature. And so we are very different. And in the West now, with this new age feminism, where it is, it's trying to turn all of that upside down, and it's causing a lot of issues. And one, like you said, population um, 
is, is declining. And when population declines, it doesn't maintain itself in a society, the society collapses. And that's evident across all of history. Um, when, when populations halt, uh, growth halts and doesn't sustain itself, um, everything, the, the economic state, the, um, what's the, what the ecosystem of that, of that culture or society will just completely collapse. And that's why you see America just absolutely on its ass. Like it, it's, it's become an absolute playground of, of de de degenerates and, and just de degenerate no, females. Not females, but just just the whole culture of everything going on—the law, the police, the the crime, the the the, the wokeism—like everything is just an absolute disaster over there. Um, especially even from the UK, like we're looking at America. Um, and this yeah, kind yeah. of leads on to the the empowerment of women, um, which I think is great. I think women should be empowered. I think women should be able to go to work, and I think women should be given the choice. But what we do see is that the more women are working, the more women want to focus on their career rather than focus on being like mothers and wives and things like that. Right now, um, more, most women they're, they're, they're are on antidepressants. The, the mental illness in women of, on showing how happy the consensus is on women in the West is at its all time highest. And it's at its all time lowest when they, if you go back hundreds of years when they're in not hundreds of years because we didn't have that data but if you go back in time where it was more like the nuclear family was a thing the, the husband wife and the two children um that is when women and men were at their happiest um and there's a reason for that it's because it's in our nature and to back this up will like as a man i think you're a man but as a man um if if you if you protected your wife or you protected your children from a physical attack and you protected them and they're safe and stuff, there's nothing more better. There's nothing better than a man feeling that, that pride in I've just defended my family or I've just provided something for my family. I'm the man and blah, blah, blah. There's nothing more beautiful about that. And, and the same goes for a woman, a woman like, you know, breastfeeding her child or, or, or raising a child and having a baby and being a mother if you ask any mother they're going to say it's the most beautiful thing ever and it's always the people who aren't mothers the young girls that are mothers that are sleeping around in this hookup culture going around trying to go on only fans and do all of this stuff where they completely just disregard this gender role and, and and dignity that they have that they end up depressed they end up sad they end up alone they end up 40 with with a with a child and the father's not there because they never really focused on having a stable family, like all of these things, it, it does spiral out of control. And that does lead on to the connection, sorry, is where it leads on to the demasculation um, of, of men um, in society. And I think Andrew Tate, although I don't agree with everything he says, I think he's definitely needed right now. Um, and I think the red pill, uh, the extreme red pillness of, of things, I don't agree with, like, whole, no, I don't agree with the red pill stuff, but I do think it's needed. Um, I think men, it's, it's, it's the it's the byproducts of the new age feminism, essentially. So all these things you've said are traditionally correct. Like, you know, you need... Um, more, Everything I say is correct. Yeah, tr well, <laughs> categorically, <laughs> traditionally correct. I am correct. Alex, <laughs> Alex on Twitter, Alex is correct. <laughs> the, that's the title, I am correct. Um, that, I am correct one. I am correct two. <laughs> I correct me. video free. <laughs> correct. You just go through all our old um, podcasts. And... <laughs> yeah. I just sort of reacting to the podcasts and just justifying my points. And uh, I'm correct. <laughs> Sister. <laughs> it's tr tr traditionally correct. Like women, like kind of being girl power and stuff like that. But obviously by the time they're 40, like you're saying, it's, you know, the, the, they've got like free cats and shit like that, but it's obviously too late then. So like the, yeah, the conspiracy theory is working. Like your, your mentality is correct in terms of how it should be, but that's just not how it's being peddled out in society. That's not how the, yeah, yeah, the, 100%, the yeah. messaging's not coming through. And that's the conspiracy. The conspiracy is that like that messaging isn't coming through. And yeah, like Andrew takes messaging or extreme as it may be, is there is elements of correctness in there, but that's it's just balanced, not it's a natural, yeah, it's a natural byproduct 
offspring of new age feminism when you have these radical movements like feminism it used to be about equality and now it's about equity and I, and i just don't i don't when i say the difference equality is like quality of um uh, of opportunity women and men should by nature have equal opportunities throughout life and i think that's 100 percent true and that should be the case but now it's more about equity and 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 what that means is that it's it's um it's not equality of opportunity but it's equality of outcome and this is also something that jordan peterson talks a lot about and and the outcome is like okay we have a military right and let's say there's a thousand cadets in the military if we go to war i want all of those a thousand cadets to be the, the top 1000 cadets our country has that's what i want right but the way the equity comes into this is that now what's happening there's two standards so they will say okay well 50 percent have to be men and 50 percent have to be women for equal um equal outcome and i'm like well no i don't want 50 percent men and women i just want the top 1000 i don't want 500 women and 500 men because it's fair and 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 we get to have an equal outcome of of people in the military i don't care for that i just want the best people for the job and if that means that there's 10 women there that means there's zero women it means that there's 800 women i don't care i just want the best people for the job um, and the society that we live in now is more about outcome and so that's why you go into jobs big name companies are saying look we don't want to hire white uh, white men anymore we want to hire diverse people i'm like okay i understand that but now what you're doing is just detracting talent away from the company because if you want to hire for a position and the, and the best person for the job is a white man that white now you're like okay well that white man's not gonna he's not eligible we want a black gay woman with three legs because it's diversity um and so you're not getting you're getting your diversity quota but you're not getting the best you're not getting the best and most productive outcome and in a society when that is everywhere and plastered everywhere um it's it's just chaos you're you're going to have a weak weak society you're going to be very divided um yeah so the I government can, man, I, and that's why they kill him off <laughs> that's why George Peterson's dead I, I i can i can talk hours and hours on this um, I'm so passionate about this are subject. You, well, are you? I mean, the subject matter does branch off into lots of different things about. Yeah, them. it does. Like, it's, it's a lot like, to get through. Like, but going back to sort of to end it, do you think the conspiracy holds credence? And there's lots of things to it. That like you know how we I talk do. About I do. The COVID. The COVID. This is a, the ultimate conspiracy. Like you know the COVID. The COVID injections were controlling people's women's um, ovaries and sperm count and stuff like that so that yeah. added to it so they're basically sterilizing people it was a, a, a an element of controlling population so yeah do you think this conspiracy holds I, I, any credence i do and i don't and what when i say that i mean you can't, you can't, i don't believe you can't flip -flop. No, no. What are the other? I, I don't, okay well if, if i had to pick one i would say no i don't believe the government is trying to fuck up their own society and culture and their nation i don't believe that to be true i think the government wants a strong nation a happy nation and one where they have power um so i in in terms of does the conspiracy hold true i say no i do believe there is an agenda um that goes on and i think that agenda is driven by money and so you see things like um you see like a, a mat like a transgender woman going into a woman pr uh, prison and then raping all the women because it's not a transgender woman it's actually just a dude and i think the government didn't want to do that but they're forced to do that for public opinion and so you get these little things where there's this agenda this consensus that this is what people should be like we need to be very leftist we need to be very woke and all of this stuff and um i think i think it's time the right fight back a little bit and I'm, I'm i'm in the middle i'm not left or right but i'm i'm in the middle but i think the right needs to fight back fight back hard and be like no you're not a woman you're a man you got cock and balls you're a man get over it um get a grip come on guys stand up stop letting women dictate everything we're leaders we're the ones that um without us we wouldn't have central heating we wouldn't have roads we wouldn't have engines we wouldn't have electricity we wouldn't have light bulbs we wouldn't have anything the internet only fans was made by a man all of these things are made by men men essentially create the the cult the create the city create the the nation that we're in we fight the wars we do all of these things women get to benefit from that and i think that's a beautiful relationship women get to help us 
procreate. I think women help us with um, the softer side of family and love and nurturing and stuff like that. But by demasculating men and making them shit, the society will crumble. There you go, guys. Andrew Tate 2.0. Alex, Alex Tate. Alex Tate. Alex on Tate. I do a live, a live, uh, live video of me just shaving my head, and I'm wearing like <laughs> with pizza boxes in the background. <laughs> so, guys, I want to know if you guys uh, subscribe to this sperm apocalypse theory and. Uh, hashtag <laughs> I, that's the title that's the title of this thing sure <laughs> so um, yeah i guess this might become a, a thing like more later on as time goes on but i just wanted to discuss it now and get ahead no, of it great topic great topic i, I would lo- i would have loved i think if louis was here um and we had an hour we would have we would have bited heads and it would have been really good viewing but Guys, thanks for listening. As always, head over to whattheflippodcast.com and get access to all of our exclusive content, the new uh, news updates, videos, show notes on our episodes and ways to interact with us so you can suggest topics, ask questions and more. And again, check out our podcast. It's What The Flip Podcast on YouTube um, and on any of your podcast platforms. Uh, yeah, check it out. We're growing. It's getting, it's getting good. And with that, I've been Alex. I've been Will. And we're out. Peace.